I bet you can't guess what's in this package. What's that? You already know what's in the package. It says so in the title. Well, what CPU is it? I got you there. Considering that this is a $4 CPU, this was not packaged the best that it could be. What more can you really ask for? The listing, taxes, and shipping all together equal $4, so... Still has some leftover thermal paste on it, but it looks okay. Let's put it in the new computer. This CPU is an i3-2100, 3.1 gigahertz. It was released in early 2011, and it features two cores and four threads, and it supports a DDR3 and PCIe 2.0, so we're in for a good show. This is probably one of the easier times of me building a computer. I just unscrew the heatsink, take out the i7-2600 that was previously in here, and I replace it with the i3. I applied new thermal paste and put the heatsink back on and screwed it in, as well as throwing in the graphics card and an SSD since so many people were yelling at me in the comments to get an SSD. I finally put one in here. The specs of the computer we're using is going to be the i3-2100, 16GB of DDR3 clocked at 1333MHz, a GTX 745 4GB, and a 256GB SSD. Honestly, this CPU was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It ran pretty well at everyday tasks, running 1080p YouTube like it was nothing. But enough of that, let's play some games. The first game we have up is Left 4 Dead 2 at 1080p high settings. We got an average of 63 FPS with a maximum of 118 and with a minimum of 46. This is an older game and I just wanted to start this off to make sure that this card would be able to run the games. And it's holding up really well. I mean, with the minimum being so high, it's able to perform really well. The next game we have up is CSGO 2 at 1080p low settings. We are only getting an average of 41 FPS and not even hitting 60 FPS on our max. So I think turning the settings down to 720p would probably be the best interest. But besides that, it was an all right playable experience. We did have a couple frame drops and I think that's because of the two cores. The next game up we have is Payday 2 at 1080p high settings. We only got an average of 37 FPS, which is playable. But if you're wanting to get closer to that 60 FPS mark, I think either turning the settings down to low or going to 720p is probably your best bet. The next game we have is GTA 5 running at 1080p medium settings. I think if you lowered the settings down to normal or low, I think you can hit 60 more of the time. We did hit above 60 some of the time, hitting 65, but this just shows the limitations of the two cores on this processor. Next up, we have Fortnite running at 1080p performance mode with low settings. I believe I have the textures and view distance on high, but besides that, I mean this ran at average of 45 FPS, and we did have minimums of zero. Yeah, you heard me right, zero. There's times where it stuttered so bad where it stopped for a second. I do not think this game is playable with this. I think maybe turning the settings down to 720p, maybe the high settings to medium, you might be able to get away with playing this at maybe 60 FPS, but besides that, I don't think this is good for competitive play. The last game we have today is Minecraft Java 1.16, running at 1080p fast settings. Flying around and loading new chunks made the game lag, and we had lows as minimum as 8, as well as having an average of 83 FPS, and not even hitting 120 FPS. The two cores in this processor is definitely showing here. I think regular survival should be able to play normally with no issues. If you want the best performance, maybe putting a FPS cap of 60 on your world might be the best idea. But newer versions of Minecraft struggle to run on this. Should you buy this processor? I think that unless you're on a very tight budget that you should not. Like in the very specific scenario, that your processor broke and you have the socket type for this i3 and you just need something temporarily, I think this processor can hold up. Like I said, it had no issues running YouTube or basic web browsing, and I guarantee that social media would work perfectly fine, maybe causing a little stress on it, but besides that, I mean, I thought the two cores would be more 
unusable in today's age because of past experiences with previous two core processors. But for $4, I mean, this is really good. This processor sells on average for 5 to $10 on eBay, so if you want to go pick one up, you go do that. This is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, hit that like button down below, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys next time.